I am here in Butler, New Jersey, standing outside of Rip and Run Toys and Collectibles. So this is what brought me here. I found this carded lot, a very mint on card lot of Robin Hood figures. I will definitely be inquiring about this. Chad and Stryker, what should I do? Should I pick this up? This place has some really cool stuff and things that you don't see every day. Some obscure pieces, which is right up my alley. Yo, yo, daddy-o, I am here in Butler, New Jersey, standing outside of Rip and Run Toys and Collectibles. I've never been to this shop before, but from everything that I've read and from everything that I have seen online, the store looks great. So we're gonna head inside, check it out. Should be good. This is tempting for 20 bucks and this is definitely my buddy the Jersey Geeks little nook in here. Skeleton Warriors, Congo, a mishmash of Halloween stuff in here. Some Earthworm Jim, more Congo, and it looks like we've also got some frame stuff, Hulkamania with the old school frame, oh man, Ultimate Warrior, little ET bike, very cool. Top, some heavy hitter vintage. I will definitely be inquiring about this. And below that, some modern stuff. Into some Simpsons. And something I thought was very cool is this TV playing retro commercials. That's pretty awesome. Definitely helps set the mood. Some more modern. And this has been on my list for quite some time. With or without the box. Here it's with the box. Can't really complain about that. So this will be thrown into the maybe pile as well. My kind of case right here. Party wagon, blimp, 
sewer up top, all vintage. And these detolfs, street sharks, some knockoffs, Point Dread and Talon Fighter, 2000X He Man back there. Check this out. Skull Mountain complete. We just saw that box. Here's the set that goes with it. I want that. So this is what brought me here. I found this carded lot, a very mint on card. A lot of Robin Hood figures on Rip and Run's Instagram. They want 100 bucks for the set. Might have to do it. Power of the Force, a whole big wall here. Star Wars figures. A lot of power of the force. Some TVC. Archive Black series. Just in time for the holiday season, the cash grab. Some Phantom Menace stuff. Got the Toy Biz section here, Toy Biz Legends. And panning over. Spidey Marvel Legends. And Toy Biz Marvel, Iron Man, Spider Man. Let's see, is there anything here I don't have from the Toy Biz Marvel line? I don't have all the Iron Man stuff. I don't really care to. I definitely need some Spidey. Ooh, Doc Strange. Nice. What else we got back here? Got Morbius. Let's see. Craven. Oh. Spidey line. I don't have that. Definitely want that. Shocker. Rhino. Cool to have these side by side. More Toy Biz. Adam Warlock. It's a pretty sweet figure. 15 bucks. What's wrong with that? All the Toy Biz Marvel stuff is still appropriately priced, I think, market wide. 10, 15 bucks. Sometimes even under that. Which is nice to see. Some of these other toy lines, like Skeleton Warriors, weirdly, is going up. I don't I don't know why. Jersey Geek knows what I'm talking about. We, we've discussed that before. No idea what the deal is with that. But uh, Toy Biz Marvel, still appropriately priced here. A lot of it here. Nice selection of it. The Marvel's Greatest set here, very nice. This is a cool piece too, the Rumble Roar. Spidey Racer. That's sweet. With the big boy behind it. Chad and Striker. What should I do? Should I pick this up? It feels like it's got the... It's got the Thermos too in there. I don't know. Thoughts? Right behind the South Park Arcade here. Little Masters sack in nice condition. This place has some really cool stuff and things that you don't see every day. Some obscure pieces, which is right up my alley. Dragon stickers. Michael Jackson stickers as well. Looks like the uh, Stay Puffed pencil sharpener there. Do 
Got some trading cards as well, Dark Crystal, Lion King. Okay guys, back out at the car, finishing up our adventure here today at Rip and Run Toys and Collectibles in Butler, New Jersey. What a shop, man. I absolutely love it. Family run, family owned, well stocked, well organized, tons of high quality, rare and obscure vintage pieces at, in my opinion, unbeatable prices. Everything that I'm about to show you here today, out the door, 325 bucks. Can't beat it. So without any further delay, why don't we get into the haul here? First up, this is my second sword and sorcerer piece. Found this in the display case right off to the left when you walk in. The first ever sword and sorcerer piece that I picked up was at Toys for the Ages just a couple of months ago. Shout out to Andy Cook. Had to pick this up, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Next, and this was this wound up being a throw and it was marked as 15. But this was a very thoughtful, thoughtful recommendation by one of the owners. We were talking about vintage art, original art from the 80s and the 90s. And at one point we were talking about Motu stuff. And uh, later on, um, during my time there at the store, um, one of the owners, Sandra, came over to me and was like, hey, uh, have you seen these? Are you into stickers? And I was like, stickers are cool. I don't really collect them. I didn't really know what she meant until she showed me this and a few other things that I wound up showing you guys uh, during this hunt. But so I had to pick up these, these Motu stickers. I will find a cool way to display them. Really cool, 15 bucks. These wound up, uh, this wound up being a throw-in with um, the next piece I'm going to show you, which is this awesome, very hard to find Motu satchel here in amazing condition. I plan to hang this either over the Motu shipper that you guys, anyone that's been in and around the channel, you guys uh, know the great lengths I went to last year around Christmas time to find the Motu promotional shipper uh, that was being displayed with some 40 anniversary, 40 year anniversary uh, origins figures. I'm either going to hang this off one of the sides of that, or I might hang it behind the UK Motu exclusive clock uh, that I picked up at Toylana this past year. So that's that. Uh, the next pickup, that was $75 by the way. Next pickup, 25 bucks, 10 inch Predator. He's been on my list for a while. I would have been happy with him mint and loose, but happen to have the box which you don't really see the box all that often and most of the time they're banged up this this actually displays pretty nice for whatever reason this corner this this side is always ripped it's honestly I, I don't care it's cool to have it in the box like I said you don't really see it in the box often and when you do it's usually kind of banged up 25 bucks and now last but not least a very unexpected you know I say it all the time on these hunts you never know which way these hunts are gonna go. I came here because I saw an ad, a post on Instagram, on Rip and Run Collectibles Instagram, and I will put their Instagram in the description of this video below. Make sure you go check them out. I think they have a link to their whatnot there as well. Don't quote me on that, but I think they do. Um, I, I saw a post from Rip and Run just the other day, which caught my eye, which brought me here, which led me here, which was, a mint on card lot of Robin Hood, Kenner Robin Hood figures. And that's what I came here hoping to score today on the, and which you just saw in this video. That whole lot, eight figures, hundred bucks, cards are mint. That's unbeatable. That's unbeatable. That is $30 under what you would probably find that for mint at least. So didn't wind up picking that up today because I do want them. I'd rather have those loose. I'm not going to, those are too, I can't open that. But what I did pick up instead, you know, I had to do it. Skull Mountain, baby. Had to be done. The box is in good enough condition to display with. 
It's such awesome box art. But the most important part to me is that the playset itself is mint and complete. So that for sure is getting displayed, of course. It's nice to have the box as well, but uh, super duper cool. Had to move the, uh, the old satchel here. Uh, the old satchel page. Really, really cool pickup. Did not expect that. I've always wanted a Skull Mountain. Now I have one. I'm very happy with these pickups here today. It was I was very close on picking up a couple of other things, but I think we did enough damage here today. Very happy with these pickups. And that's it, folks. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these pickups. Always support your local mom and pop shops. These are great people running a great operation, passionate about the hobby, and they do the right thing by their customers. So I highly recommend them. Check them out at their physical location. I'll put their information in the description of this video below. Check them out on whatnot. Check them out on Instagram. Just go check them out. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you on the next time. Peace.